Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and another email from our friend and I think he is one of my Udemy course students and his name is Levi Gabriel he said, Greetings, Miss Nell Carocco. I'm a Brazilian electrical engineering student and your student of two of your Udemy courses. I've been looking in a lighting project that I have a particular problem. The project is kind of a mall with multiple stores. Uh, the problem is that I'm supposed to construct a major building with a roof, which is the mall, and minor buildings, uh, minor buildings inside the mall with its own roofs which are the stores. I am very thankful for receiving this message and I hope that it finds you a good, uh, with a good help. Levy. Okay, Levy. So uh, thank you for enrolling in my Udemy courses. I hope you like it. And for your question about this kind of mall with the different stores, I think it's easy, but I just want to warn you that do not build everything in one shot, especially if it's a huge mall. Okay, because I, because uh, it might slow down your computer, especially if you put a lot of objects inside. But to answer your question, I think it's very easy. So let's go now and open my Dialogs Evo software. And to make things simple, I'm just going to create a room planning. And I will say yes, it's 10 meters. And then I'll just say make this one as 12 meters with a height of say uh, 8 meters height of mall ceiling height. And I'll say OK. And then um, right now, what I did is I created a big area. Let's just imagine this is your mall. OK, so this is your mall. This is eight, uh, 10 by 12 by 8 meters height room. And if you want to put a store inside with a separate roof or ceiling, it's very easy. All you need to do is go to the plan view and then draw click this one draw new room let's just imagine this is your small store okay close the polygon and another one if you want to add more let's just imagine there is a store here also okay let's just make it parallel okay and uh, okay let's just make it a little irregular okay and you said that you want to create a big mall, a big area, which is the mall, and small areas with a separate roof for the stores. Okay, so you can see right now that I have these uh, three rooms. You can see now in that room one is the mall, and then room two is your one store, and then room three is your another store with a regular shape. Okay, so to make sure that you have a separate roof for the store, you can just go and create a ceiling for these two. So just go and grab this ceiling tab and then draw new ceiling and then draw it like this. Or if you have a, a different shape of the ceiling, just go and create one and then unclick this one, close sides and check this one and then make the ceiling thickness as 0.1. And then if you want to see how the height of the ceiling in from the ground floor, just go and change this one, distance of shell floor. So let's just imagine your store height is 3 meters. So I'll just go and say 3 meters. Now my ceiling is there. And then after that, you might be thinking, oh, what happened to this one? So this one is very easy. Just grab this one, cut out tool, rectangular cut out. And then just cut it out like cut it out like this one to make it precise go to the elevation view and then right click go and scale it or you can edit it manually and then make sure you touch the bottom or the top side of your um, ceiling go to the other side view make sure you cut everything and then go to the go back to the 3D and then click to the other tabs, maybe object, and then see. Now you have your um, store. And you might think, where is my ceiling? Go and check. Now it's there. Okay, so this is your ceiling. Let's go to the elevis, elevation view. I think you need to move uh, up, up the ceiling more. Okay, boom, like that. And yes, it's there. And uh, of course, to do that, you need to do the same to the other store. So go to the plan view 
uh, draw new ceiling trace it maybe the ceiling design or store design is different right click and if you made a mistake just grab it right click edit the polygon and then like that and then once again uh, adjust it maybe the ceiling height of this one is up say four meters from the ground it's different from the other one and then uh, close side and check this one and then make the ceiling thickness as 0.1 or it depends on the ceiling thickness that you want and go back to your um, next is of course our cutout tool rectangular cutout actually you can go inside to the um, room one to do that okay to make it precise go to your elevation view yeah from here you can also do that or to the other side okay we can do it like this one here like that and up to your ceiling ceiling okay I think it's up here and then go and check how it looks so click to the object tab and boom now it's there so if you want to see your ceiling go and click the ceiling and yes and check this one go to the elevation view again I think you need to move move it up or you can edit the cutout tool okay and to make you to make sure that you have a proper documentation let's label it properly so go to this um, space tab click this one first and you say this is the mall label it mall type mall enter and then the other one here label it store number one type here and then this one also store number two and of course don't forget to select the proper um, uh, area selection here so let's just say where is my retail shop retail yeah retail premises so I'll select sales area yes it's sales area so in the sales area the requirements is 300 lux but you can go further because some of the retail shops requires 1000 lux for the selling area or sometimes 800 lux so I'll just go and say 1800 um, lux for this one just edit it and then go to that one and again on the other side edit and then select the retail premises sales area again let's say this one is 500 lux requirement requirements only and then for the mall sometimes the mall has different requirements so you can just say again go back to your retail tab or if you know the value or the mall requirements you can just type it there so let's say again this one is um yeah 300 lux is fine enough for a hallway or corridor but sometimes it conflicts with the light value from the store to the hallway because sometimes there's it's not good to look at when you enter the mall and the store is brighter compared to the overall general lighting in the mall so let's just make it 500 lux also okay so go to the 3d view and see how it looks yep and then um, object tab and then you can see here now you have mall room see and then you have this store room okay forget that big ceiling height because the calculation will be up to here only and then another store area up here and then when you go to your calculation documentation which is the most important so let's go and check that one okay so now you have a summary for the mall you can see the clearance height is eight meters very good and if you go to the store one summary see this the clearance height is three 0.1 meters because I adjusted it so three meters and the reflectance you can change that if you like and for the store number two it has four meters see the difference you have a separate calculation for different areas within that room only so it's very good so that's how easy it is so you should not be worried about this one mr. levy Okay, so I hope you learned something today and see you again on the next tutorial. And if you really want to learn more about lighting design, uh, lighting design tips and tricks, go and visit my YouTube channel. Go and visit my website, www.enrocolightingdesign.com. I think something's wrong with this page. 
And also, if you want to learn more, I hope I know you already enrolled uh, uh, two of my courses in Udemy. Just go and check that one again. So for everybody who don't know my Udemy courses, just go and check www.udemy.com Nel Caroco and you will find all my courses there. And I will upload more later on because now I have time to do this. Okay, so see you again on the next uh, tutorial. Bye for now.